venue. Mm -hmm. It's now your second season here. Yep. You feel at home? Yeah, I really like uh, V-Spot in the city. Um, obviously the Rhino fans and just the Rhino's community. Um, I think it's the best decision I've made in a long time to come play basketball here. And I'm just grateful to be here and have fans again. And it's been really fun. Uh, okay. You're from Canada, so here around Wiesbaden is also a lot of nature. <laughs> is, is it a kind of home feeling you have now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I go on lots of hikes here and I, I go check out what's around the city. and. Yeah, I kind of make myself at home wherever I go, and I really like be spotted for it. And Aww. the nature definitely reminds me of Canada. Ah, okay. You're going back to Canada in the winter break? Yeah, uh, tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, you were in the Paralympics. The Canadian girls were kind of half new players. Yeah. How was it for you? Uh, it was a uh, Oh gosh, it was a big difference from uh, playing in Rio and then playing in Tokyo as well. Um, we have a lot of new girls, but I think they performed at their best. And, you know, obviously we didn't want the outcome we got, but, you know, we just got to move on and focus on our qualifiers and then Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, some of the questions I uh, already asked some other female players. Um, if you would be a tournament organizer, what would you like to have in your launch set? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I got, I'm, I'm from Alberta and we're known for like our beef. <laughs> oh, okay. So I would really want my favorite dish, which is roast beef and mashed potatoes and veggies. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think all, all the guys would also be <laughs> so happy with that. Um, that's what I would want, and actually I'm going to have that when I'm home, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> okay, nice. Take me with you. <laughs> um, who is your favorite core five, female Ooh. and male? Oh my goodness. Um, I think all the four five women are super strong, and we all have very different and unique playing styles. Um, I... Uh, I really love J Janet. Janet's been my favorite four or five throughout my whole career, and even though she's retired, she still kind of has taken me under her wing. So I really love Janet's game uh, growing up into the sport. Um, but I don't know. I'm <laughs> whoever I play. That's a four or five. I think they're gonna give me their best game, and so I think everyone's pretty good. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then on the men's side. Ooh, that's a tough one too. Uh, uh, I guess retired would be Joey Johnson, obviously Canadian, <laughs> but I really like Haluski's game. Um, okay. I've just really admired that he can go inside and play outside and yeah, I just think he's a really dominant player and I don't think we give him enough credit. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> um, on what have you mostly worked when you came to Germany and played with male players in mixed teams? Um, I think uh, my, my mindset and how I play the game is really beneficial because I really slow the game down for our men. I think sometimes men play really chaotic and push really fast and pass and it's just go, go, go. And I think I bring a calmness to our play as the Rhinos and I think that's my biggest strength here. And I just like playing against men so anytime I can dominate them, I will. <laughs> You, you like uh, seven balls, not the women's ball? Six. Uh, I mean, I've been playing with the sevens for so long, so I'm really okay. used to it. But then once I get back with the sixes, it's just another day. Oh, cool. So thank you for the interview. Thank you. And have a nice uh, back uh, home trip. Yes, I'm so excited. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>